So, you're here because you're a... What did you call it again? An urban explorer? There's a certain hubris involved in that hobby, isn't there, Samantha? Some lofty assumption that the world somehow owes you and you alone its secret. What does that make you here, then, in this graveyard? A tourist of human misery? And that special creed of yours? Take nothing but photographs, leave nothing but footprints. You'll be leaving more behind than footprints before this is all over, I think. But I suppose if it's human misery that you've come looking for, you'll find Summerford more than accommodating. exploded. People were ordered into their homes. I don't think they expected an infectious disease back then, but the radioactive fallout wasn't any more appealing. said that people got stuck on the island after the accident. But they never mentioned military checkpoints stopping people from leaving. It's been hastily put up due to some sort of demonstration in the village. Not going to be able to continue this way for the time being. Judging by the uh, water spinny wheel on the side of this building, it was probably a mill. Looks like these are deliveries that get sent somewhere across the water. There's a lot of smaller islands around here. It would be suicide trying to get off the island with this. Well, I could probably still use it. Not very helpful if there's no water though.
This can is covered in petrol and other gunk. There's no way I'm putting this in my bag, but I think I can carry it. There's a map of the park here. Apparently, he used to be able to visit another area nearby by boat. There's also a long explanation about bird migrations. Directions for some sort of nature trail. I always found exploring abandoned places more exciting than forests, personally. either some sort of pump or a generator of some kind, I guess. It's still running, whatever it is. Uh, this looks like some sort of pressure equaliser. not turning on. Perhaps it's out of petrol?
Dino Ventures. This was a popular tourist attraction in Summerford. Kids love dinosaurs, I guess. It's locked. It's locked. Some people are falling ill. I suppose that's not unusual in flu season, but it's affecting a lot of the younger crowd. Locked. I've been moving around the village this week, getting these deliveries out, and it feels like every other house I visit's got some list of complaints or health concerns. I'm not talking about the sniffles, either. Seems like people keep forgetting things, or rather, forgetting themselves. A bit like how my old mum was before she passed, but that was a slow change. This is getting much worse, much faster. Oh, finally! You've arrived, dear. I feel like I've been waiting a very long time. I'm entirely unsure about your uniform. But needs must as the devil drives. Who are you? Oh, no, no, no time for that. My name is Cynthia. But you can call me Mrs. Perkins. We've got precious little time before the opening. The children are so very excited. Children? I don't see any children here. Have you seen anyone else come through here? Well, people aren't going to be traipsing around before we open. That wouldn't do. No, let's finish up the chores and then we'll worry about all that. Chores? The dinosaurs! Or more importantly, those new sound boxes we've had installed. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Go and find uh, Edward, was it? Yes, the gardener. He'll help you get familiar with your duties. You'll need this key. An ancient skull of those once mighty beasts that roamed our lands. Who knew their skeletons were made out of paper mache? A list of complaints or health concerns. I'm not talking about the sniffles either. Seems like people keep forgetting things, or rather forgetting themselves. A bit like how my old mum was before she passed, but that was a slow change. This is getting much worse, much faster. A perfectly healthy plastic palm tree. The Allosaurus was a large, bipedal predator that lived... The Brachiosaurus is a type of dinosaur known as a sauropod, famous for reaching incredible... Easily amongst the most identifiable of dinosaurs, the Diplodocus has a very long neck, and pterodactyls were the largest flying animals that ever lived. Some measure more than 11 meters across. They didn't flap their wings to fly, but instead glided on air currents.
the Allosaurus, the Triceratops me, the T-Rex or Triceratops, the T-Rex or Tyrant Lizard King, was one of the most fearsome creatures that ever lived, equipped with 50 to 60 banana-sized teeth and a brain twice as big as those other giant carnivores. be around it for a second more than I have to. The Allosaurus was a large bipedal predator that lived. The Brachiosaurus is a type of dinosaur known as a sauropod, famous for reaching incredible size. Their long necks were used to eat foliage high above the ground. Easily amongst the most identifiable of dinosaurs, the Diplodocus has a very long neck and long sturdy legs. For many years we thought this was the largest dinosaur ever. Allosaurus.
everything set up? Oh, that's wonderful. I'll have to go and find the children when I'm done writing this month's newsletter. I don't suppose you know the scientific name for a foxglove, would you? No, I don't believe you would. Have you seen what it's like out there? Do you know a way off this island? Come now, dear. I know we've got a lot left to do, but if you get back to it and present a more positive attitude, I'm certain we can get everything finished in time. Why don't you go and see if Edward needs any more help? 